In this lesson, I will teach you how to make this motif. This motif is based on Romanian chord, and to start this motif, first you will have to crochet Romanian chord that equals uh, 16 centimeters. Also, I'm going to use thread um, of different kinds for decorating this uh, motif. I use Presencia for the Romanian chord, I use Guterman for making a swirl so that it could be seen well. You can go and do it with the same color, it will still look beautiful, but again it's up to you. You can use uh, silk, you can use perle cotton to decorate your Romanian chord, you can use metallic thread if you wish, but uh, the idea behind this uh, project is to keep it more traditional than uh, modern. I, um, combine, I'm combining two techniques, modern and traditional. Uh, for example, in traditional Irish crochet we do not use Romanian cord. So as soon as you have Romanian cord, this is not traditional Irish crochet anymore. It is Irish crochet with a hint of uh, Modern, uh, mod modern hint, and also boolean block stitches, also something that will never, you will never find in traditional Irish crochet. So, for this motif, crochet Romanian cord that equals 16 centimeters. On one end of Romanian cord, weave in a different thread. Uh, I would recommend to go, if you use uh, Presencia only, then go with the thread that finer than the thread you used for cord. So I used crochet uh, uh, thread number 10 and crochet hook 1 millimeter for the cord. For uh, crocheting and decorating this motif, I will use, of course, different thread and different hooks. I will use for my uh, motif Guterman, as you can see it's all curly and fine. I use four strands to decorate. You can pick up other silk that has one strand. Uh, this kind of silk you can also purchase somewhere online. Mine is uh, in materials for working. I posted for you uh, silk that comes like that. Uh, and I don't remember the size. I think it's 20 size it's a little bit slightly different for what we use uh, and it is two um, ply I believe yeah it is two ply thread it's mostly for knitting or crocheting for lace but not for Irish crochet I just use it to decorate and have a different uh, sheen to my work so uh, you can use Presencia, and if you use Presencia, use number 30, 40, or 50, or less. It all depends what thread number you used for the cord. Okay? So, place a marker and measure 9 centimeters on one end. So, measure 9 centimeters and place marker. This end already was weaved in thread that you will use for crocheting and we will crochet this end and turn it into a swirl. So number one, first step, put the marker in, it has to be nine centimeters here, and the other part we will turn into a swirl. Weave in the other thread in the end of the Romanian cord. You can use here for decorating any kind of hook depending on the thread. Uh, for my video and uh, for Guterman's thread, I can use one of those hooks or 0.75 mm uh, or 0.9. For the video it's easier for me to see so that I would see what I'm doing. I will go with 0.9 mm hook. So how do we do the decoration? There are so many, as I told you, how to make swirls, and I already posted for you quite a bit of videos, but for this particular project, I am making a little bit different swirl. 
so I so that you could see that beautiful double swirl. It's why I used two shades of um, Ecru. You can use different color. I could imagine how beautiful it will look if you add um, some kind of shiny thread um, to it. So first we will take and pick up with the thread five or eight stitches. So one, so you go into each stitch on the side of Romanian cord and pull thread through all those stitches. Here you can go and pick up any amount of stitches you want. I would recommend to go with stitches that I already uh, with the amount of stitches I I am making. So we have five. I will go with six and seven just to make a nice curve. Make sure it is tight in here. You pull thread through all those stitches and connect them together tightly. Now, very carefully, see how it looks like. Turn your swirl this way and crochet a stitch right into the point, single crochet stitch right into the point. Now again we will turn all the time one direction. You see how I did it? I turned it this way now. Thread behind all the time. Now on this side, on this side that is straight, we will increase decrease our stitches. We will crochet two together. First time what we will do, we will go into the stitch right here, into the last stitch that actually included into the stitches that crocheted together to avoid a hole in here. So I will go into that stitch, pull thread through, make sure that your thread is not spliced, it's very easy to lose pieces in Guterman, and another stitch. And this is our decrease. Crochet those together. And again turn. And this time crochet again into the tip. But little bit slightly uh, move away from the... Uh, you see Romanian cord is a little bit... it's wide. It has four millimeters uh, width, something like that. So here's the stitch I made before. Now I'm moving a little bit further away. Still in the, the tip and I'm making single crochet stitch. And again I'm turning my work. Again this time I'm going into the next stitches. Uh, by the way, if uh, you want to go slower, not dramat too, too dramatic, you can still go into that same stitch before. But I recommend not to. Only one time at the beginning. Because if you will not do that, you will have a hole, big hole in here. So now we're turning our work. And when we're turning, in that straight leg we decrease and only one stitch we make into that one. So again hook into one stitch on the Romanian cord, pull thread through and to the next one. I have three stitches on the hook, crochet them all as one. Turn your work. Probably will a little bit zoom in for you. And again we on the other side of the uh, cord. Now we own the round part. You can go more dramatic and and quicker in the turning your cord, but um, it 
works quite funny. You can decrease on the leg on that side and increase here. You can crochet one single crochet and another single crochet on another side uh, in another stitch and then turn. It will turn faster. But what will happen if you will do that? Sometimes it behaves really funny. You will not have then flat uh, motif. It will become more like a hat. It will be like this. You don't want that. You want it all flat. So I did crochet many, many, many times many of those cords, followed some advice of other uh, ladies, and I decided I will do it my way. So I'm making one single crochet stitch only on this side. It's enough to turn and connect. Okay, so we have one single crochet. Again, turn your work. Just keep your hook, your hand with the hook like that, and only turn your Romanian cord. Now, again, we're going into one stitch, pick up stitch, and into the other, pick up stitch, crochet all of those stitches as one. And continue this way, decreasing on a leg, and increasing or oh, making one stitch only here on this side. Again, I'm turning and going this way. One stitch and another one. This Turn, give us three stitches on a hook, crochet them as one. Again, turn and make into the next bump or stitch on the round part, single crochet. Turn your work and crochet, decrease one. Two. Turn into the next stitch, and you can see those bumps here. So, into that bump, crochet one single crochet stitch. By the way, you can also try have double crochet stitches, it's also look beautiful. You can try and use double crochet stitches. You have to play with that. You have to be brave enough to create something of your own. Look for interesting ideas and see how it will work for you. So again, three stitches on the hook, crochet as one. Again, I'm turning and single crochet. It's plenty for the, when I do this slowly, when I just do two single crochet stitches on this side and one single crochet stitch on a round, that goes really evenly, smoothly and will give you flat motif without any surprises. Also, you can use this on both sides. It equally looks the same and beautiful on a right or on a left side. So again, stitch one, two. Again turn and again one. So continue crocheting this way until you get to this marker and this is when we will stop and I will show you the next step what else we will do and how we will decorate the other side over here.